Okay, here we are, NAM 2012. We're at the Focus Right Novation booth, and we've got another piece here. Uh, Novation is releasing uh, here at 2012 NAM. Uh, I'm standing here with Chris, um, and he's going to talk a little bit about what is it called here? Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, absolutely. So, Twitch is uh, a very new way of thinking about DJing. Twitch is laid out um, for Serato Itch, which is a piece of software made by Serato. Um, We've got deck A and deck B in a conventional fashion. So we've got EQs, trim controls. Uh, we've also got a master effects section which can be applied to deck A, deck B, or both. Or the auxiliary input, which can be a mic or uh, a pair of RCAs at the back. We've also got per channel fader effects. So by default, my fader is a volume fader, as, as is convention. If I turn this button on, I've, at the moment, I've got a high pass filter um, set on this, on, on this uh, fader effect. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, we've also got a browse section, so I can so it makes navigation really easy in in Serato Itch. Um, Twitch also works with Tractor. It sends out conventional MIDI information, uh, and also we've got a, an Ableton Live translator, which allows you to um, translate the messages that come from Twitch and make them make sense in Ableton. So you, this is not only a DJ controller, it's a performance controller for any type of music, really. Um, so I'll just start with the conventional controls. I'm in sync mode at the moment, which means my deck A will, will automatically be in sync with deck B. You can turn that off if you want to take a more conventional style of DJing, if you want to take a more conventional approach. So I'll start my track off. Um, you see it started there halfway through the track. That's because I had a cue point, which is on button five here. So each of these eight buttons in hot cues mode is one of the cue points. I've also got a cue point at the beginning of the track, which makes jumping into a track really easily. So if I cue my track up to mix into one record, I'm going to hit button one, and that's going to start my mix. Um, if I want to jump straight into the middle of the record, I'm just going to hit five, and that's, that's me right in the, in the heart of the track there. So I was talking about that fader effect. At the moment, I've got the high pass filter. As I pull the filter down, you can hear the audio is changing. Now if I turn this button here off, disengage the fader effect, it's just a conventional fader now. Um, we have a low pass filter, phaser, repeater, echo, flanger, delays, all kinds of effects just on this one, uh, on this one section. And this is also the same on, on deck B. So effects, in effect we have three effect units here. One dedicated to A, one dedicated to B, and one that can be switched to both or either of the decks. The coolest thing with Twitch is slicer mode. Um, what Slicer does is look at the audio that's coming up and puts the beats on the pads. So you can see these pads are flashing on beat. I can grab one of these beats, and so this is just looping that beat. And you can see on the screen it's just scrolling through that beat over and over again until I let, take my finger off. I can also lock this section of the song into Slicer mode by pressing it again. Slicer mode starts flashing. So this will loop forever now, which is really cool for doing um, Long mix, long mixes into other records, and I can, I can pull li all these little sections out. I can also change the, shorten the length of the the sample I'm playing. As you can see, that combined with fader effects. So that was a that was a flanger on there. It's kind of better with with a with a filter effect. So that's Twitch, in essence. It's really fun. It comes free with Serato Itch. Um, it's 499 in the in the in the stores. Um, it's a great deal of fun. You've also got something I didn't realize. Actually, so, sorry. I'll, are you going to cut this? Can you edit this? Um, so other performance modes in Twitch, you have auto loop and loop roll, which allow you to pull little sections and loop little sections of, of the audio. Auto loop can be a lifesaver if you're getting to the end of the track and you need to stick another 16 bars on. So you can see here, I'm just, I've, I've just pulled a little one bar loop out of there. And that, again, that will loop until I tell it not to. I can make that loop bigger. So now I've got, I think, eight bars there. So that, that's really handy if you're coming to the end of a song and you, your breakdown isn't coming yet on, on deck B. 
you can just stick that auto loop on there and, and, and it'll it's a lifesaver sometimes. So that's Twitch. It's a lot of fun. Let me ask you, um, I know you said uh, this uh, works as well with Tractor. Um, obviously, it does all sorts of really cool stuff like what you were doing with the filters and changing uh, using this button for your fader. Does that also apply to Tractor or is that basically unique to the software, Twitch's software itself? Twitch comes with an overlay that, that is uh, like a thin overlay that you put over the, over the unit and it, it gives you different controls for, uh, for Tractor specific controls. So there are things like four deck operations. So uh, and, and there's a mapping on our website, and other people have made mappings that allow you to use this to, to map different controls to different features inside Tractor. So theoretically, you could use the ribbon controller, or the touch controller, or whatever you got right yeah, there absolutely to do what works. you were just doing yes. a minute ago with the stutter effects yeah. and and as well as the filtering. Um, I don't know whether or not the fader effects are implemented in Tractor. That's a question I'd have to ask my technical guy. I can find that out for you. That's cool. Thank you much. Cool. Very cool product. No worries. Thank, Thank you. you.